Hello from Brooklyn, and welcome to Snack Time with Matt Kids. My name is Megan Hughes Butler, and I'm so proud to be the author of these Tinker Active workbooks, published by Odd Dot, an imprint of Macmillan. In each book, we tinker, make, and engineer to learn through play. So that's what I thought we'd do today. To get started, you'll need to gather a few common materials so that you can do your own projects at home. You can pause the video if you need more time to gather these items. A flashlight, a large one works best, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a dark color works best, a hole punch, tape, a pair of scissors, a cereal box, wax paper, and a few craft sticks or chopsticks. First, we're going to tinker with light and shadows. Light is a form of energy that you can see. A flashlight is a light source. It gives off light. A shadow is made when light is blocked by a solid object. Turn your flashlight on and try making shadows against a wall. I don't have a flat wall nearby, so I'm going to use this piece of paper. You can use your hand or a small toy. Can you make the shadows get bigger and smaller? What happens when you move the objects closer and further from the flashlight or the wall? <laughs> now, let's make a project to help us explore our light source, the flashlight. Light moves in a straight line. But like we just tinkered with, you can block it with a solid object, called an opaque object. Opaque means that the object does not let any light through. Here's the project we can make to test that. Take your flashlight and put it face down on a piece of paper. Use a pencil to trace the round tip along the bottom. Now you should have a circle, the same size and shape as your flashlight, on your paper. You can cut that out with a pair of scissors. I have a circle that I cut out earlier here. Use your pencil and in the middle draw a picture or a design that you'll cut out with scissors or a hole punch. Here's another one that I made earlier, a smiley face that I cut out with a hole punch. And here's a trick for cutting out a shape in the middle of the circle. It's difficult to take your scissors and poke through to cut out a shape, so try just cutting through the side of the circle so you can get to the middle to cut out your shape. You'll be left with your shape and a small cut on the side. Because light can't go through solid tape either, <clears throat> you can take your tape to simply close the hole right up. So it looks like this. Next, take your flashlight, two pieces of tape, and add your flashlight cover to the top of the flashlight. So your paper is stuck on the top like this. You'll shine it against your wall, and there you go. You can cut out more circles and try different designs. What patterns and shapes can you make? Last, let's engineer and solve a problem involving light and shadows. My kids and I are all staying home to stay safe. We wanted to put on a show, but we don't have a stage or costumes. How can we use the materials we have to put on a show? I know that I can use light to make shadows, so I found a way to experiment using shadows to make puppets. You can make a puppet show like mine if you'd like. Start with a cereal box. A cereal box is glued together, so you can press on the seams to open it up until it's flat, like this. With the help of an adult, cut out a big square or rectangle on the front and the back. You'll want to leave a large one inch border just like this. To make it easier to cut these rectangles in the front and back of your cereal box, you can cut right through the side so that you don't have to poke in the middle of the box and then tape it shut with a piece of tape when you're done. So it will look like this. Your next step is to take wax paper and cut three pieces the same size so that it's triple thick. This rectangle of wax paper needs to be just a little bit larger than the rectangles on either the front or back of your box. Your next step is to flip the box over to the printed side of the cereal box and tape the wax paper in place, just like this. 
Now that you've got your three layers of wax paper taped to the outside of your cereal box, you're going to fold up each side and flap inside out and tape them in place. So the whole box will be going back together with the plain side up. I've taped my top, next I'll fold in my sides and tape them all together. I've actually got a finished box here I can show you. So you'll see the wax papers on the inside with an open back and this is the front of my completed puppet theater. You can take your light source, you can ask someone to hold it or you can prop it somewhere. Put your puppet theater in front of it and you can use your hand or you can use other toys to create shadows to tell a story or put on a show. If you'd like to make different sorts of characters or setting pieces for your show, you can start with the leftover piece of cardboard that you caught from your cereal box, draw shapes on it, and cut them out. I've got a dinosaur here. I can tape him to the back of a craft stick. And here's another shape, a hand, that I attached to a skewer with a piece of tape. And you can use these right inside your puppet theater. about light and shadows, check out chapters 13 and 14 of the Tinker Active First Grade Science book. Thanks for tuning in. I had a great time tinkering, making, and engineering with you today. Bye!